Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of Community Fight Club CFC in the house Episode 8 And boy is this going to be a good one We're starting off with the most polled match This was uh, this one in a landslide It had over 50% of the vote out of 5 votes And we are starting off with Sonic versus Mario Of course on every 4 episodes we will have a title defense so tonight it will be um, Sub-Zero versus Homelander for the million dollar title for our main event. And we got some really interesting matchups as well. Um, we got the Santa, Santa Claus versus the Grinch. And we also have GTA versus Red Dead. That's going to be a lot of fun. That is going to be a lot of fun. So got a big night for you all. Hope you guys enjoy it. And we're about to get things started with... The most voted match of the week. Now the Sonic and Mario and the Santa and Grinch will be to get into that number one contendership that we have every, uh, basically every three weeks. Uh, so it's every third episode after. This is kind of considered a pay-per-view even though we're having three singles matches tonight and one six-man tag. So... But we're starting off with Mario versus Sonic. And look at Sonic here. Nice move there. Mario escapes. Look at that suplex there. All singles matches, well, all matches will be two out of three falls as well. Sonic going for a pin and a kick out there from Mario. And look at that uh, combination there, and not even a two. Not even a two for Mario. I don't know what in the world Mario's doing as he continues to taunt Sonic. And Sonic with a nice move there. High flying move. Let's see if he can get a point out of it. And he does. Wow. Actually did get a point. And Mario. Kick out there from Sonic. What in the world? He slipped and fell and hit his head on the soap. Ugh, they gotta quit botching. And, ooh, nice reversal. 
And uh, stop Sonic from the kick there. Let's see if Mario can get momentum. Look at Mario, got some kicks, some combos. That last kick is gonna go across his face, I know that. Look at this, bam! Going for the pin here. And a kick out there from Sonic, wow. It's a great kick out. Took it some damage and still got out of it. Ooh, and a knee to the head. Let's see if Mario can get a point here. And another kick out. Unbelievable. Sonic's taking damage, but it seems not to phase him. Um, he continues to dodge attacks. And Sonic going for a pin. And a kick out there for Mario. Going for a high flying move, connects at that, that time. It was sloppy, but he connected. And that's all that matters. Boy, was it sloppy. That was a pretty sloppy high flying move. And Mario setting something else up here. And he connects that one. So at least he's getting them right now. And a kick out there from Sonic. Mario with some strikes. Ooh, and Sonic with a kick right to the face of Mario. And Sonic wins. So Sonic starts off with the win tonight. So I was not expecting that, and it was kind of, got a little bit slow there um, with the pacing of the match, but um, this is what you all voted for, so. And Sonic will go to that uh, six-man number one contender match in, in a few, it will be from this episode, two more after this episode. Uh, they'll have that uh, six-man match so Sonic qualifies for it, and now we are going to the second singles match for that qualification as well. And here comes Tim Allen's Santa Claus. And this is going to be interesting. So, the main event tonight, of course, we got Homelander versus 
Uh, Sub-Zero for the Million Dollar Championship. That is definitely going to be a sight to see. Um, we'll see how that takes, uh, what happens there. And then we have GTA versus Red Dead in a six-man tornado tag. But we're about to find out the second contender in three weeks from now. And we got Santa and then, yeah, we ha I guess we had to have him. I know you all are saying it's too early. It's too early. Don't do it. Well, it happens. And here comes Jim Carrey's Grinch. And the Grinch is in the house. And this is going to be a good Christmas rivalry. This is why we went in this direction. We like to have really good singles matches. Of course, Mario and Sonic, I think they had a game where they were kind of a rivalry, like an Olympic game or something. I'm not 100% sure on that. And of course, the Grinch is always grumpy. He's another Oscar the Grouch. Um, and he's already mouthing our, our fans. Hey, come on. Calm down, buddy. Calm down. They're not from Whoville. So don't be mean. Yelling at the fans. What do the fans do? You gonna steal their Christmas too, you thief? You know he committed so many breaking of and enterings. He should be arrested. That's breaking and entering. You know, going into people's house on Christmas and stealing their gifts, that is a a big offense. And of course, in his defense, he should file a lawsuit against the guy that's saying that song about him. Because that's kind of slander. You got termites in your smile? How do you know? That's right. He should file a lawsuit against that guy for slandering his name throughout the song. I wouldn't touch you with a 10-foot pole. Like, really? That's pretty the, serious. But Santa's here to deal with him tonight. I bet you Santa felt really great. He put all those gifts under the Christmas tree, and then uh, after doing all that hard work, this guy steals them all. But anyway... I remember when I was uh, working back in the day and uh, they used to play uh, You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch, that song, and they would just, the guy throws these continuous insults. I hope he gets his Christmas stolen, by the way. He, can, he throws in these continuous insults and you hear them over and over again while you're trying to do work in the retail store. And it's like, dude, we don't care. We get it. You hate the Grinch. You've said about this a hundred times now. Like, come on. I'm out here trying to put food on a peg, and you're saying about how you don't like the Grinch. I don't care. <laughs> okay? <laughs> oh, man. And the Cr Grinch bending back Santa's fingers. Oh, man, and a chair shot from the Grinch. I mean, look at some of these lyrics. You have all the tender sweetness of a seasick crocodile. Like, when you go this far to talk about somebody, this is the ultimate diss track. When you literally go this far, um, talking about, uh, you're a vile one. I mean, this guy is not a dictator, okay? He's just a grouch that was mistreated, mainly by you singing the song. So I, I can see why the guy's mad, but it's still breaking and entering. He, uh, he should have been prosecuted. <laughs> Let's just face the facts. And Santa going for a pin here. And, and by the way, here's the one that kills me. And we've talked about this before. And 
Santa going for a pin here. And a kick out there from the Grinch. It's not a 10-foot pole. I wouldn't touch you with a 39-and-a-half-foot pole. It's like, what the heck? Why the half foot on the 39? Isn't 39 good enough? Why does it need to be 39 and a half? It's like, it doesn't even make sense. So 40 is too much, but 39 is too little? It has to be exactly 30. I want to know where this guy is getting his measurements from. That's what I want to know. 39 and a half foot pole. That's, <laughs> you know, this is why cyberbullying exists, because of songs like that. And me, Ken Chrysler, I'm not trying to defend the man. He should have been prosecuted, but I'm just trying to give you a reason for his motivations. And now he's going for the pin here. And a kick out there from Santa. And look here. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Getting thrown out of the ring. Santa's not happy. He hasn't been happy this whole match dealing with this guy. And now he's biting his fingers. Goodness. What's wrong with you, Santa? They're not cookies. Why would you bite his fingers, you savage? And look here. And a slam there. Santa's starting to become a jerk. I'm not going to lie. And look at the eye poke. What a dirty move. And now the Grinch has a sledgehammer. Santa fighting back. Not even a two count there. Still haven't had a fall yet. And Santa going for a pin. And another kick out by the Grinch. Look at this nice submission. And look at the Grinch here. Oh my goodness. Uh, Santa's going to be puking up those cookies. Uh, why not again? Let's just make him even more sicker. Oh my goodness. How many times are you going to do it? Look, the Grinch is even... Di what a dumb move. You're dizzy now. Hey, like, really? Oh my goodness. And uh-oh. What's going on now? It's Seth Rollins. He's here to save Christmas. <laughs> He's distracting the Grinch as we speak. What in the world, Seth, really? And Santa trying to go for a roll-up pin. Seth Rollins is trying to get on, uh, off the naughty list. That's what he's trying to do. He's not fooling us. He's trying to get off the naughty list. Yeah, Seth, you're really helping. You know it's extreme rules. If you had some guts, you'd get in this ring. Trying to distract the Grinch. 
What was the point, Seth? Now he looks irritated. Well, he's going to be on the naughty list. I mean, what was the point in even interfering in a no DQ match if you're not going to just jump in there and beat on the Grinch? It's like you help distract him, but you don't do nothing else. You're going to stay on the naughty list, Steph, Seth. Nothing changes. Nothing changes. The Grinch wins. And what an epic win for him. And uh, speaking of the naughty list, yeah. All these guys are on the naughty list for sure. Uh, Trevor is on the top of the naughty list. <laughs> They're all getting lumps of coal for Christmas. All six of these guys. You know, you know, Arthur's a good guy, but he's done bad things. Let's just face the facts. He's done bad things. So is John. Now, Dutch, he's definitely on the naughty list. But uh, Franklin, Trevor, and Michael versus Dutch... John Marston and Arthur, if you're a big fan of Rockstar, you're going to really enjoy this. Um, we actually had to conduct this match multiple times. So you were getting... Um, it, that's why you're seeing the stars at the top. I know people ask about that sometimes. But sometimes when we have very bad fights and they just don't make any sense, we cut them and we tell the guys to go again. Go again until you get a good fight. So... Usually we do that if people stare at the pins while their teammates are getting pinned and they just stare at it. You know, why? Um, it just depends on how bad it is. And then sometimes if it's too short as well. So those are the, that's if you ever see that and you're just wondering why it's like that, we're not trying to cheat anything. It's if, if the match is way too short or if it ends weird or glitches or anything like that that are not, you know, working out well, uh, then we will tell them to go again. You know, they got to get it right. And this is two out of three falls with Rockstar's baddest. And it's good if you're a Rockstar fan, you're going to love this. Kick out there from John. And look at Dutch. Slamming Trevor on the ground. Trevor doing multiple strikes to Dutch's head. We're going to see how violent this match gets because, I mean, we're dealing with GTA and Red Dead. GTA may be even worse than Red Dead when it comes to brutality. Look at John Marston, top rope, and he connects. Drops in on Michael's head, and oh, a power driver there. And a kick out there from Michael DeSanta. Tell us what your favorite is. Do you prefer GTA over Red Dead, or do you like Red Dead better? Make sure to tell us that. Uh, tell us if you like Tim Allen um, as Santa Claus better than Jim Carrey as Grinch or the other way around. Make sure to tell us some of your opinions on these people. Uh, we appreciate it, especially on the comment section. And Michael, he's running behind... Corey Graves and all the crew and what in the world? These guys better stand up. And almost a pin there. Looks like Trevor almost got pinned. Uh, 
I cannot tell what's going on. There's everybody standing next to each other. There's no fall, but. You got Michaels fighting by. Look, I'm, they're throwing him behind the announce table. What in the world? Only Arthur Morgan and Franklin are normal in this. I mean, that, you can't even tell what's going on. Michael Cole and Corey Graves have to stand up just so these guys can fight behind them. You know, there's, there's, it's, it's kind of like, you know, you have everywhere in the facility to fight, and you choose the worst place to fight behind Corey Graves and Michael Cole. That is the worst place you can fight. I can't tell what's going on. No, that's a fall. Trevor, it looks like that's a, a point for Dutch. Dutch got the point. Yeah, Dutch got the point. So it's already one to nothing. Can't tell what's going on. Come on, people. Trevor's getting thrown around. We got another pin coming and a kick out there. Looks like John Marston was trying to pin Michael. Look at Trevor dropping Dutch on his head. Trevor going for a pin doesn't even get a one. Look here. Almost a pin. Almost won it. Dutch almost won it. He was so close. And once again, these guys continue to fight. John Marston and Michael DeSanta are fighting. Look, I mean, you can't get him away from the announce table. Oh! Right against the pole. That's better. At least I can see what's going on. Goodness. When did fight behind the announce table become a thing? So confusing. You have three men standing. It's the worst place to fight possible. And look at Marston. Last ride. But Michael's waiting on him. Yeah, no chance of that pin. And it's probably a good idea for Michael to wait for him there. Even though we're seeing a, a double team, it looks like, which is always horrible in the six-man tag. So look at Michael just waiting on John Marston there. And now he's going to sneak up on John Marston with this pedigree. Uh-oh. Dutch breaks it up. So now we're back to the, um, everybody is fighting a person. Franklin just hit a big kick. Look at Trevor beating on Arthur Morgan. And neither pin works. So Trevor now is going for a pin. And the ref breaks it up. Great. What a clown. Uh-oh. Trevor's had enough of the referee. <laughs> he throws the referee out. And now he's going after the ref. <laughs> That is such a Trevor thing. Oh my goodness. He just literally attacked the ref. Threw him out of the ring. Over breaking up his pin. Trevor going for a pin. He didn't get it. And a kick out there. The Red Dead guys are really hanging in there. And you can tell the GTA guys are getting mad about this. And look at Trevor with a stunner on Arthur Morgan. And John couldn't get there in time, so that's a point for GTA. Look at Arthur. Almost had it. Almost finished the job.
Arthur Morgan Dex Trevor and uh -oh, we got Dutch versus Michael DeSanta this is a really good fight it's gonna come down to the wire and look at Arthur Morgan here and a kick out there by Trevor and Michael DeSanta literally almost messed everybody up and he continues I don't know what he's doing and uh oh him and Dutch are yeah look he's gonna pay for it because Dutch is gonna make him pay and now the ref can't get to the pin and Trevor breaks it up it's a five star match <laughs> get it five stars what, what what's the odds <laughs> what's the what's the odds uh, call the law it's five stars <laughs> the SWAT the army it's five stars I never even thought about that before going into this. And look at John Marston. And Franklin going for a pin. And he's got it. So finished. GTA wins. And GTA is victorious tonight. They beat Red Dead. And it's good to... I like these six-man tags when we can get three people together that are, like, very related like this. Uh, it's always fun. And uh, GTA uh, wins. Big match for them. And they went in here tonight. And that is a match that we, you know just thought of all recently and thought it'd be a good idea and it was it turned out really well uh, the reason why we had to repeat it like I was saying earlier the prime example is when someone does what Michael did and then they get pinned we don't ever like that like Michael came in the ring and then he went out while his partner was getting pinned fortunately his partner kicked out so it's acceptable there but in, in the case of you know that looks very unrealistic. It doesn't make sense. It's kind of a glitch. Um, so that is the main thing that usually gets a redo if that happens. Um, and Homelander is here. And he is challenging Sub-Zero for the million dollar title here tonight. And boy is it going to be a good one. It is going to be good. Homelander is ready for battle. He won the big six-man match. He's been pretty impressive lately. And here comes the million-dollar champion. And it's good to see him again. It's getting cold. And you can tell because Sub-Zero is here. Sub-Zero is in the house. The Million Dollar Champion taking on Homelander tonight. And it is a match we have been waiting for. Homelander won the big six-man number one contender. And... Uh, million dollar title is on the line and it is the only title that we really have for this brand so it's a big deal
And here we go. This is the final match of the night. It's going to determine the champion for the next uh, three weeks. So it's a big match. And of course, on the number one contendership in three weeks from now, we are going to have uh, Grinch and Sonic. That's a guarantee. So this is our final match of the night. Homelander, ooh, dropping in on Sub-Zero there. He is just going, you know, he's not even giving Sub-Zero a chance to get up. Finally, Sub-Zero gets a hit in there. Not even a two. And look at that submission. Sub gets right out of it. Big suplex there. Sub trying to get back into this thing. He had a rough start. And we'll see how he does against Homelander here. He won the championship. He was the first ever champion on Community Fight Club. And we'll see how far he can take this title. That was a great high-flying move. Perfected. And a kick out there from Homelander. Homelander. Top turnbuckle connects. Good diving move. And now more shots to the head on Sub Zero. He's weakening the head. And Homelander shot to the back of the head again on Sub-Zero and now more strikes to the head. These two fighting outside, Sub-Zero slides back in. He's got the high ground. Sub-Zero trying to get a comeback here. Look here. Ooh, kick to the head. Good kick there by Sub-Zero. And almost got a three out of it. And that was a weird move, but it worked. It was weird though. And uh oh. And Homelander. Throwing some strikes at Sub Zero.
And Homelander going for a pin. And a kick out there. Oh man, and a Superman punch. Homelander is getting pumped up. He's just smashing Sub-Zero's head into that big bar of soap. More strikes to the head. Look at Sub-Zero. Ooh, man, kick to the head there. Going straight for the pin. And a kick out there from Homelander. Sub-Zero going top rope again. And he connects. Oh, he's going to go for it again? Okay. Second time. And misses. Come on. Oh, he didn't miss that, though. He almost kicked Homelander's head off, almost decapitated him. And he almost got, he still didn't get a point, though. He is arguing with the referee now. And look at Homelander. Uh-oh. Oh, the guillotine. Oh, the guillotine. He's got a point. He's one point away from being the new champion. Can he pull it off? He's got it. Oh, my goodness. And he weakened the head. That's what he was going for. That was the strategy. Use the guillotine. Uh, weaken the head. Use the guillotine. Make him tap out. And now we got a new champion because of that. Despite what Sub-Zero did, it didn't even matter to Homelander. He kicked out of everything and still won. And he is your new million-dollar champion on Community Fight Club. We will see you all later.